hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, bone cancer uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and a link for the website is just below this video in the description area and we'll come to the topic what is bone cancer you know uh, the primary bone cancer uh, is a rare type of uh, the cancer that begins uh, in the bones. Uh, but majority of the cancers uh, in the bone, they originate from somewhere else and they are secondary cancers, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, the cancer, basically it's uh, the malignant, it is a kind of the the multiplication of the cells which are abnormal, which uh, in fact there are two types right? these are kind of abnormal growth of cells you know so there are two types of the growths one is a benign and the malignant so benign means which are the non-cancerous and malignant means the cancerous growth so uh, you know but the bone cancer can affect uh, any bone and most cases they develop in the long bones uh, that's of the legs and maybe the upper arms you know and the main symptoms of the leg bone cancer include uh, uh, or bone cancer include like uh, uh, bone pain uh, which is persistent and it gets worse over the time and continues uh, uh, into the no uh, night you know uh, swelling uh, redness uh, over the bone area uh, which can make movement difficult and it can affect the bone near the joints generally you know lump in the bone or maybe weak bone that breaks easily or fractures you know, the osteoporosis you know. and uh, if uh, anyone uh, experiencing the persistent severe pain which is worsening you should visit your doctor for the further evaluation uh, to for rule out the, the cancers you know well the main types of uh, the bone cancer are uh, uh, chondrosarcoma, having sarcoma, and the osteosarcoma. So osteosarcoma is the most common type of the cancers, and uh, uh, it mostly affects the children between the ages of, uh, or maybe under the age of twenty, you know. And uh, having sarcoma is the most commonly it affects the children between the age of ten and twenty, and. Uh, Chondrosarcoma uh, affects the adults whose age is over 40. So uh, you can divide it like in the age groups, you know. And the young people can be affected because uh, uh, the rapid growth uh, like spurs, you know, that occur during the puberty, you know. And they make bone uh, tumors uh, to develop. And uh, these all types of the bone cancer can affect different types of the cells. and. Uh, the treatment and the, uh, uh, the outlook, it depends on the type of the bone cancer that you have, you know. Now, in most cases, uh, it's not known why the people have uh, the bone cancer. But there are some risk factors that have been identified, like uh, uh, if you have had previous exposure to the radiation during the radiotherapy, or uh, uh, you have a condition known as Paget's disease of the bone, uh, which is only a very small number of people have the Paget's disease, you know, and they develop the bone cancer. And uh, you have a rare genetic condition which is known as uh, Lee-Fromini syndrome. So, which means that uh, in this condition, it has a faulty version of the genes that normally uh, helps to stop the growth of the uh, uh, cancer cells, you know. So these are the risk factors which has been identified so far now uh, you know the treatment uh, depends on the type of the cancer and uh, to the limit how far it has spread to the other organs you know and most people uh, will have the combination of treatments like chemo maybe surgery to remove that cancerous part, you know, and then maybe chemotherapy and maybe the 
radiation therapy. You know. But again, it depends on the stage and the type of the cancer uh, and the grading. You know. So uh, there are multiple factors that uh, can uh, impact or uh, that can affect the outcome and the treatment options as well. You know. Uh, and uh, if the um, if it's, most it's not primary cancer in the bones, you know, so so which means that uh, by the time it's diagnosed, it may have spread to other parts, you know. So this uh, there depends on the condition, but the most of the time the patients may need a combination of treatments like maybe chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery, you know. Uh, as I said earlier, the outcome depends on the severity, the type, the condition, the grading. So. It depends how far it has spread. If it is diagnosed at the early stage, the outcome will be better, you know. But if it's diagnosed at the late stage, then the outlook uh, uh, may not be favorable as a, compared to if they, it has been identified or detected at the early stage. Thank you. Goodbye.